Peace in everyone, welcome to the Dragon Slumber Show, today we are playing Constructor. Uh, and this is a really weird game, for a lot of reasons. First of all, this is a game from 1997, uh, so it is pretty old. Uh, it was released on Steam very recently, uh, May 26, 2017, so like 20 years later. It's available on Steam for $30, which is a lot more expensive than I would expect a game from 1997 to be. Um, it's a game by System 3, the, the, the game was provided to me um, through Keymailer, so thank you guys very much for that. As you can see, weird graphics, but uh, look at this, so we're gonna, we're gonna start. Apparently you can play with the, uh, with the controller, I believe it's available on Xbox and PS1 as well. So I can't press start to begin, oh, but I can press space though, okay. And I could skip this, but I'll let it ride. System 3. Because check out this really weird opening cinematic. This very 90s opening cinematic. I'm gonna guess that that was supposed to be better timed. I don't know. <gasps> he was holding a constructor card. Okay. Constructor. It is the game where you play builders and the mafia. Something like that. We're gonna try it out. Um, so, normally I play these games uh, windowed and in a smaller resolution just to make sure that everything works well. That doesn't exist in this game. There is no... Um, resolution options. Uh, I guess there's video mode for the uh, the aspect ratio. I can do it full or 16 by 9. But um, oh, and I can click here. Uh, but that doesn't do anything. Uh, everything is is marked with a B. I wonder if it would be marked without a controller. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm not even gonna risk it. It's a scary game. Let's go. Um, tutorial. I've never played this game, so I don't know what to expect. You think you can make it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor wasn't up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city housing authority? Well, yeah, I have a mu much better hat than he does. Annoying tenants. Yes. Well, there's no no option, so I'm gonna go with yes. Is there? Hey, I'll be in hot water if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever important cursor is controlled by using the left stick. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. I'm using a mouse. What are you talking about? It's a strategy game. I'm going to use a mouse. What are you talking about? But I could use a, a controller to move the mouse if I wanted to. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, this is actually wait, what? Okay, so I can I can move the 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 edges of the screen by moving my cursor, but I can move it with the right thumbstick, which makes a lot more sense. I've told so why? Water if I don't explain some of the basics to you. It is weird. Hey, there's no fooling you, huh, kid? 
You can move the camera view around using the right stick on its own. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, you thank you. Now? Hey, there's no fool in you, huh, kid? Okay, so I just unplugged my controller. Using the cursor keys. Okay, there you go. So, if a controller is plugged in, even if you're not using it, it expects you to do it. I guess. You can zoom right out by pressing the Wii or rolling and the it resets. Towards you. It resets the uh, the tutorial if I plug and unplug it. This is so weird. This is so weird. Well done. Hey, you're not as dumb as you look. You can zoom back in. By holding the right trigger and pushing up on the right stick. You don't say. This is I'm not going to use a controller. What are you talking about? Why would you expect that? You better protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry. We'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Thank you, oddly at odds with the rest of the art style drawn man. Instead of standing around picking your nose, <laughs> get going. It's appearing all over the place. This is, what what is this? Put your cursor at his feet and press the A button. Bam. This is your yeah. foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. Oh, Stephen Dowling, of course. He'll his own work team to do all the hard work for you while he files the risk assessments. Uh -huh. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to go and pressing X. Right on. And here they come. Your workers have finally gotten out of bed to do some hard work. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing the X button. His work team will always tag along. Where is the beacon? Also, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess, I guess this is it. Right-ho. Right-ho. That was a long walk. Really eh? good. Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll so, be far more efficient. So you better. This might sound weird. Mouse so controls the feels like they should be inverted to me. Like if I if I hold down the middle button and move up, then the the whole screen moves up. But it feels like it should move down. Like if I if I use a a um, a tablet and I do this, I'll be able to see the the, the top side of it. Uh, so it feels like it should be reversed, but uh, I'm not gonna guess that this game can uh, provide that. I know. Please give me a fi faster. They'll be far more efficient. So you better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right there we go. to fill the team up to five. And then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Right out, right out. Hey, you're getting the idea with these flashing icons, eh? Now let's exit this screen. Okay, enough of all this goofing off. It's time to do Why did it change? It's, sa it's the same voice. Why is it now a, a different guy? So let's head on over to the real estate agent. Also, why is the... I wish the narration was faster and I wish the text was a lot faster. Like, I, I don't have any options if I pause. This art style reminds me of, um, Septera Core. By moving the cursor it has that weird 3D, I don't know, style that Septeracor had. Especially this. Um, okay, Lumberyard, which is, uh, supply wood. Okay. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. Eh. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Right how? Take a look at that! A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press A while hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the call. Take a look at that! A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, Ah. To start working on this building, 
bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the call work team icon. On the other hand, you could just oh, I like that everyone is named feet over there. Watch them build. It's a real delight. If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become okay. much more reliable. That's fast. Congratulations. You have finished your first lumber yard. Thank you. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press A while hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left-hand side of the screen. To restock this resource, call the work team into the building. So I have just now, a lot of resource, so I don't need to worry about it. To, ten units of wood. to speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. I need wood. I need a lot of wood. Wood that comes out of the roof. As much as possible. Yeah, you made enough of a racket. But now we got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the real Oh no, there's time to see your new choices. Go to the real okay. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Uh, Click on the homes icon to see what's new. Homes. Okay. You now have access to three low grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin that will fit neatly beside your. This is old. Did I mention it was old? The selected it feels old. Type using the directional buttons. Press A to place the site. I. Okay, log cabin. There we go. Well, that one squeezed in real nice. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using A and move him to the site by pointing and clicking X. While people are so I guess the building, white flags are the workers outside. and the gold the ones are the foreman. A to select him. Yeah, we should have this new house slapped together in no time. It's gonna be a very tall log cabin. That is a very small log cabin. Well okay. Your first home has been completed Hello. and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a yep. variety of houses will expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house. Thank you. Even if it is a bit uh, drab. To look inside and choose this place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the appoint tenant icon. Uh, this one. There's a lot of icons. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the upper crust. I'm okay. afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. They are all very creepy and scary. Take this iffy looking pair. They got plenty of money, but they don't breed quickly enough and might damage your property. They don't breed? Oh no. So what? I think we better use the other couple. Yeah, because they breed all the time, hey, so you. clearly exactly well we they have a hundred breed breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. They've okay. Made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? Weird. You can find out what these tenants like. What is this? Like oh, <laughs> life expectancy? Oh, how much is that? 2,000 divided by 365? That's like... 15 years. That's not that long. Oh. Dare mug, I'm not surprised. I don't know what the percentage is. I'm a bad renter? Yeah, I know. Because I don't breed fast enough. Damn. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are pretty noisy, and can cause problems for their neighbors. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained. And they don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. You know what? I'll be even nice. I'm not going to make any statements about these people. I'm not even going to call them these people that much. Use the directional buttons to move easily between icons. Okay. Damage to the current house. Number eight. Till the house is destroyed. 
Oh, because it's it's getting damaged gradually. These guys are up to date on their rent, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. Instead of what? Oh, and wait. They can either breed or they can pay rent, there but not go. both of, at once. Your that would be crazy. Joy is on its way. This display shows you how long before your This is a weird game. Your name Blob, are they? Oh yeah, they're Joe and Ver Ron Veronica Blob. Hey, you don't know, it might be some European name. I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the redecorate rooms button. There are four rooms in this pad. Each has a different benefit. Why is it so in depth? Increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs, and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump. There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select upgrade room to start redecorating. There are so many buttons, there are so many things to learn. How long is this tutorial? It's gonna take like five hours. Also, I'm sorry. The sound seems to be a little loud. Yeah. Sure. Good job. Excellent. Your team has completed the new bedroom. So, Doesn't that look better? I'm sorry, but I, I need to point this out. Um, the first, the, the portrait when in the original room, the unupgraded room, was an Asian woman. And I see that the portrait in the, the upgraded room is an African woman. I assume that she's African. So, I'm not saying anything, but the devs might be. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear, just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children. So, yeah, as as we all know, if you have a nice bedroom, you can give birth faster. Everyone wants a nice yard to go with their house. So let's Asian stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, it was a made in Hong Kong portrait. Moment, or made in Taiwan. A limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge. Of course. Please select and purchase it. Okay. Defensive ability 31%. You need yeah. to get those lazy workers off their coffee break and out into the yard to do some work. You better call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing to your tenants. That looks much better, and will keep your tenant happy. Now, let's leave the house and have a look around, eh? This is such a weird game. You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers, or more tenants as shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it'll be shown there instead. Now we need to teach you how to look after your developments. Okay. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the Repairman. Please select this fine gentleman over here. Are you kidding me? What? really knows how to use a wrench. If you switch on... So I can't... He will circle around okay, I'm just locking the tutorial. Development, repairing them one after another for you. Bada bing. On the other hand, you can manually prioritize his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, eh, he'll move on to his next job. Whoa, what's going no! on? No! The Hamburglar! Oh, looks like he's up to no good. You know he's up to no good. He has blue hair. Everyone let him through. No! He's using his levitation powers to over uh, overwhelm me. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. How do I catch him? 
Well, that's gonna be. It's gonna take too long. Too late. He's disappeared down your subway station and looks like he's stolen all your wood. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. Nice house. Alright, select this and do this. Yep. Yeah, looks like something's going on in here. No! Let's have a look inside the house. This is crazy! Everything's happening at once! His face is melting! They've sent a complaint letter to the housing authority. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Hey, your factory has been going day and night. We can't stand the noise anymore. You have 343 days to solve this problem. Fail and you get 20 black marks. Some people are They're obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them happy by getting your work team out of the factory. But you just told me to move my work team into the factory. Right out, eh? Yeah, that was easy to deal with. They're not always so simple. No matter how much you have, <sighs> it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. I agree. Please select the world map <gasps> icon. The world. That's so big. Is it this? Nope. Oh, it's this. Use the directional buttons to browse through the available developments, or click on them directly. Well, I... Uh, this. It's mine now. Be, please select the Brompton development. Now that we got some more land, you can finally build your next home. Go back to your real estate agent and see what's available. Now it's time to create Man, I am not going to remember Once all of these buttons. One of each, it will Hopefully. unlock more varieties. Mm. Well, right now I can mouse over on this, so I guess now you can I'll be able to do so afterwards as well. Oh, I can reduce the size. You can orient the house by moving it closer to one side than the other. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing X. Once you're happy with the position, press A to place it. There we go. Now, get those work teams on site to finish the building. Oh, I need 11 wood for that. Okay, so I'm starting to get a feel of everything. I guess this is this video is going to be all the tutorial. This new lodge. Please use the slob tenants as before. Okay. Click and this, and we're gonna use. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. You. Basil and Gert Blooper. Hey. You. Yeah, well, let's go with Basil and Gert Blooper. Has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more to guarantee they'll be ready when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Okay. Breed. Well done. Now, oh. to speed up the okay. process, you should improve their bedroom. Okay. Like last time. Okay. Now please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. This is such a weird game, so I'm breeding people to build houses okay, to breed more people. Then we need to build the final low grade property. There is a, a very odd abstract theme here. The next resource, a cement factory. Please select the real estate agent and choose the Soweto. A larger yard will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate with objects. You can expand the edges of the plot by holding the right trigger and pressing the directional buttons. Once you're happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing A. Sure. So I do like this though. I do like how it kind of tries to create a uh, 
properly sized terrain. Now get one of your work teams on site to finish this building. I'm not gonna have enough wood. I will, okay. I'm gonna send well one of my work teams. Or not, because it's a tutorial, so I'm too guided to do something. Yeah, do this, and then... This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run, and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Hello. Why not them? I want them. Ross and Angie Gutter. Sure. Bam. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Rent. Now, let's increase their rent by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the outside world when you're inside a building, you can toggle the radar on or off by pressing RB. Well, give it a try before you exit the house. Uh... To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the outside world when you're inside... Oh, I can hold control! Well, this is my new favorite thing. Well, give it a try before you exit the house. To look after these new houses, please Is select them to the Brompton, Brompton Development. Move him to the Brompton Development and set him no, auto no, what you Which one is the Brompton oh, Development? Is it this one? I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't give me a lot of details. I think it's this one. Or maybe it's this one? I don't know. Auto. Oh, so I guess the Brompton development is this whole thing? Maybe? Please buy Beaverbrook development on the world map screen. Um, this. Yeah, this is. This feels like it could have had a little more. Oh, into the UI. Or maybe it's just showing its age, really. Now it's time to Cement factory. Resources to finish the building. You'll need to send the work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Ah. There we go. Let's give it some wood. Every time I produce one wood, it's used immediately on the building. Up and running. Now start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of those repairmen to circle this development. Eh, but we don't have any spare ones. Here's how to knock out new ones in your HQ. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left, using the right mouse button, it'll scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the left mouse button will take you straight inside. Oh, I have I can I have access on time control. Okay. This is your HQ screen, which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently It's have weird that these don't have different faces. In here, also, this is a weird face for a tenant. Kind of feels like a mobster. Well, this guy looks like a mobster. I don't know. This one also feels Convert three spare workers into a workman. Um, by clicking this icon. One, now two. set this new repairman to auto repair on the Beaverbrook development. Uh. Bam. All right. All right. So 
Okay, I think I've done it. Hopefully. We now need a there we go. Factory to start manufacturing products and keep your oh, I wanted to, ma I want to uh, manufacture, manufacture, manufacture Mr. Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Utilities, there we go. We're gonna clear a cemetery at some point. This should be fun. Now get one of your work teams on site to finish this building. I'm really hoping that the tutorial is almost over. Um, I'm wondering what it would have been a better way to do this tutorial. You'll need to send the work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. Righto. Well, that's not all what I wanted. I wanted to take this guy. Right nope, that's not what I wanted either. Right Please unselect. How do I select this one guy? Selecting. <laughs> I don't know how, but I somehow I immediately forgot how to select things. Like I, okay, there you go. I guess I can't select on. I can't click the guy. I need to click his feet. And this guy was in this place, so I couldn't select him. There are some weird things in this game. Not gonna lie. To start being hey, it's a baby! Look at that! Look at that baby! Look at that gross baby! Vincent Blob! Welcome to your gadget factory. Here you can build many items to enhance Is it a communist? I think it's communist. Plant trees in your tenants' yards will give them the shade they need to dodge sun rays. It'll stop them complaining, too. Select the trees icon and then click again to add it to the queue. The figure in the bottom right corner shows the number waiting to be produced. I want to grow one trees. You'll need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. This is how trees are made, by the way. It's a shame money doesn't grow on trees that quick, eh? Now that they are in stock, you can choose where to place them by clicking the deliver icon. Three. Please put two trees in a single yard. Use the left mouse button to three. place the worker, and the delivery man will bring it to the site shortly. Just make sure oh, I have three in stock. a legal okay. position in the yard. Once you've placed all a legal in the position. Worker, press the right mouse button to exit the mode. Oh, yeah. I can smell their green thumbs from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. Sure. More gadgets on Why would I want to play the game? You can tell me everything. Like, I know it's a tutorial, but boy, this is a long tutorial. But I feel like I'm learning new stuff, so I don't want to stop the tutorial immediately. Oh, good. Let's go with modern computing. This is clearly... Well, no, it's... Well, besides the CRT, like, everything else is actually kind of fine. You know, all of our computers with a black stripe like this. Very modern. Now let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the deliver button to have your delivery guy personally transported. Target the Soweto hut and press the right mouse button to begin the delivery. All right. Okay, so right mouse button both unselects certain uh, certain things and also and tells people to do this action sometimes. It's to see if they've a weird the control button. scheme. It's old. It's old. Hey, they're gonna live longer than my other guys. Did you turn it on correctly? Jeez, you can really see the 256 colors in all their glory. Gadgets can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. 
Now with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Whoa! Select the level two you can tenant even tenant. install windows. This level two tenant will be the perfect choice for our state of the art bungalow. So let's go build one while we wait for the whippersnapper to grow up. Bungalow. Oh, baby, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. This brings back childhood memories. I have never played this game before. Production but it's started. available on Steam for $30, which is honestly... Site. I mean, it's it's not a bad game. It's, it's an old game. And, um, you know... Usually games of this ilk are less pricey than this one is. Oh no! Not an enemy spy! A worker. Where... Where is there a worker? By lassoing them. Well, thank you. Okay, so I guess this is a spy? Right. Nope. Take a break. Oh, yeah. is this a spy? Boy. Boy. Finish the building. So I guess the spy prevents building. It doesn't lose me technology or something. Theme hospital and constructor in SimCity. Well, uh, SimCity 2000. I I can see the the similarities with um, Theme Hospital, but not SimCity. SimCity felt very different to me. Get an appropriate tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants, punks or students. The choice is yours. Oh, thank you for giving me choices. Listen, you. Hey. I'm gonna go you. with. Hey. Listen, you. Hey. Listen, hey. you. Listen, you. I don't know these guys. These guys will happily pay their rent every month, but uh, there are quicker ways of making money. Huh? Yeah, let's step outside for a chat. Things in Constructor aren't always above board. A good way to make money. Okay, sell them. Okay, steal and sell. Foreman. I I wish I had a list of all of my foremen somewhere. That would be very practical. I'm not even sure. Like here, I'm not even sure how I can select my foreman. Is they're not showing? No. There. I'll take your foreman's hey? team to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house by hovering over the beacon and pressing the right mouse button. Right on. Hmm. Right on. Congratulations on taking the metro to the same place. Target your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and clicking the right mouse button. By clicking... Wait, what? What am I... Target, target your foreman at this house. In which house? What? <laughs> Once he's demolished the entire fence, eh, the house will be yours. And these guys are having a lunch break, I guess? Yeah. Jeez. No! Mario, the enemy's cousin, happens to be in town, and he doesn't look happy. I think he might be saying hello to his little friend. Oh, boy. Yeah. Sorry, I 
shot the right away. It seems it's not always that easy. Hopefully they can put it back together. Luckily this four like cats. That is violent. Obviously, we're gonna need some underhand tactics of our own. More clowns can do the job. To the undesirables. Red alert means Sim City. Now we have access to the hippie commune, home of the dimwit. Let's get one of those slapped together quick. There are so many options. Stop. What is. Sure. Um, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm complaining, but it's, you know, I'm, it's, I'm not really complaining. It's good to have options. So uh, it shows that there's a lot of depth to the game, I guess. There's just a lot of options which are very spread around, which makes it kind of difficult to follow a little bit. And I need a new foreman. I don't know how to breed a new form. Well, I can convert a new foreman by going here. Maybe. Nope. Not what I wanted. Can I? How? No, not this. I guess I want a new foreman, but I can't because uh, I'm in the tutorial. I want to play the game. I'm I'm sorry. I want to play the game, but I also don't want to lose out on information because I, I feel like if I start playing the game now, I'm gonna go well. What? Why is half of the things happening? Like the hedge thing. So I kind of can't, can't right now. Pl just play the game. Let's have us a street party. Sure. I guess those are all street parties. Oh, there you go. See, this is weird. Let's have a street party. Well, none of these have titles, and I just know that this one is right because this turns green. You can guide this it's weird. It's very weird. And clicking the right mouse button. Um. Yeah, man. There Let's you go. Party outside the enemy house to distract his people. When the cursor goes green, you can select the hippie's target position. I know he's yeah, slow, man. but he'll get there eventually. See, undesirables ain't allowed on the subway network. <laughs> okay. Why not? I don't even know what this so okay. I guess there there's one here. There's a subway network, but you can't kind of see where everything's connected. I, well, I have a foreman, but isn't more foremans better? Follow icon. Click the follow icon. This. Remember the good old days when people weren't walking while reading their phones? This looks like a mask out of Hotline Miami or something. This looks really creepy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're there. Okay, good. Watch him go. <laughs> that should keep people distracted. So let's try taking that house over again using your foreman. Please using the, the remaining foreman, foreman. And target the house using the right mouse button. Ah. Wait. Select a foreman. How? How do I so can I Okay, oh, I can click at the base. Ah, uh, that's why. I I'm I'm used to clicking on things, not necessarily the base. That is the very definition. Look at those that dance. Look at that dancing. That is dancing, my friends. 
You can speed up the process by using multiple foremen. And you can use your workers to ward off anyone who tries to stop you. Yeah, my workers didn't follow, did they? But everyone's distracted, so it's fine, I guess. Hey, cool, it's the guy from ACDC. He seems small and have this weird suit. Okay, here we go. And this is mine now. You successfully took over that house. You should sell it now to make a quick buck. Go inside the house and click on the sell house so. icon. Yes. Okay. I think I spent enough of my precious time trying to show you the ropes. Oh my god, is it done? To step up to the plate and take over the day that they run it. Now, get some of the available houses built on a double. I'll be in touch. Don't call me, I'll call you. Kids these days. I I guess it's done. Guy, oh uh, well, there you go. Guys, when we come back, more Constructor, we're actually going to be playing the game. You know what? Quit tutorial. I'm a pro now. When we come back, more Constructor, but the actual game this time. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Our Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!